this is Alex Rao with Us Born Books and More and today we are going to be talking a little bit about some of our alphabet books. <laughs> so I will start with the big book of ABC. We have a whole collection of these big books. There's big book of colors, big book of machines, but we are focusing on the alphabet today. So this one I love. It has these bright colorful pictures, these big letters for the kids to look at uppercase and lowercase and my favorite part about this book as compared to other alphabet books is that it doesn't just simply say grapes gingerbread gloves it says a gingerbread girl gorgeous grapes glorious gloves a gentle giraffe so it's really emphasizing those letter sounds and um not just listing the word next to the picture I love this one. It reminds me a lot of um, Dr. Seuss books that I read when I was little. So that is our big book of ABC. And then um, also working on letter sounds, we have these muddle and match books. And muddle and match books are each designed to focus on about five or six letter sounds. And they have three sections each. You can see they're sectioned off there. So this is muddle and match fairy tales. And the idea behind it is that they can pick three different sections and make a little mix-up fairy tale, a little funny thing. A uh, hairy wolf who is hiding polishes his perfectly princely boots like the prince she loves. <laughs> so it's just a silly little fairy tale. But these focus on <clears throat> specific letter sounds. You can see if you have all the same page, this one is the letter P. So it says, Puss, a purring pampered pet, polishes his perfectly princely boots and proudly practices pussycat pounces. So that, there's a lot of the letter P in there just to practice that sound and to hear it and to look for it in the words. This is the letter G, Goldilocks, a golden haired girl. So each page, each section is like that if you get all the same color. And then it's also just tons of fun to mix and match those fairy tales. There's a whole collection of metal match books and each of them deals with about five or six different letter sounds. Great for kids in speech therapy or even my preschooler, we, we use this all the time just to look at those letters, hear the letter sounds, figure out which words are making that letter sound. So that is our metal match collection. <clears throat> well, this one is a little older but it is one of our new books, 365 words everyone should know. <laughs> so it's just full, it has different categories, like this one's food and drink. What words should you know about food and drink? Restaurant, um, vegetable, current, roast, great, barbecue, all sorts of words about um, cooking. Um, this one, are they even real words? <laughs> Discombobulate. I've heard that one. Um, gobbledygook, egghead, collie wobbles. <laughs> Just a whole 365 days you can learn one each day of the year and expand your vocabulary. So that is um, definitely for older, older kids or even the younger kids who are very interested in learning new words. <laughs> the next one I have is the Lift the Flap ABC book. And this one is very fun. It's one, we have a ton of Lift the Flap books and I love Lift the Flap. I love them because they are presenting lots of information in very small chunks that the child can explore in their own time convenience. So this one says, the animals are decorating their classroom with all the letters of the alphabet, but some are missing. Do you know which ones? Lift the flap to see if you are right. So you can see A, what letter is that? They ask them, they say B, and they lift that flap up. There's the letter B, and they are right. And it has all sorts of different, <clears throat> at the fair. My prize is red and can fly in the sky. So then they have to find, there's tonight's prizes. So that would be the helicopter. And they lift the flap, there's an H. Helicopter, you're right. <laughs> so there's, all sorts of fun activities in there. I would love this one. I pretty much love them all, <laughs> so I say that a lot, but they're just, they're fantastic. The next one I'd like to show is actually a read aloud story. One of my personal favorites, Bees for Bedtime. 
I have a, a three-year-old and five-year-old and we read this with them almost every night before bed. They love it. And so it goes through the alphabet. It has a big letter, um, little letter, <coughs> uppercase, lowercase. And it starts by saying, A is awake, how I feel after dinner. B for the book with my dad, it's a winner. And they go all the way through, start getting sleepy, start winding down. W, whispering prayers for us all. X for relax, now I'm facing the wall. Y is for yawn, I'm ready for sleep. All hushed until morning, you won't hear a peep. And then Z. <laughs> well, that's how I read it, at least to my kids. <laughs> but I just love that they are not only hearing a sweet little read aloud story, but also getting to look at those letters to hear the words that make the letters. I focus a lot with my preschooler on um, we see the letter O. O for the owl outside in the tree. And we talk about which words in that sentence start with the O, the letter O or the O sound. So that is B is for bedtime. One of my favorite read alouds. <laughs> and then the last one, similar to the 365 um, words, but this is all the words you need to know before you start school. So we have going to school. Who do you have at school? You have the principal, the class teacher. Um, you have different ways to get there. The skateboard with a helmet. There's a backpack. Um, outdoor words, you can see a spider, rocks, grasshopper, all sorts of different things. Um, family and friends. There's me, mom, dad, brother, sister, friends, and different words. What do you call your grandmother? Do you call her Nana, Granny, Gran, Yaya, Nana? There's so many different words. Um, so these are all the different words that kids um, should know before they start school. And it's a great work with them and get them starting to learn those and make sure they are aware of all of them so that they can use them in school when they get started. So those are my <clears throat> alphabet and word books. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Goodbye.